Hello there. You must be here because you want to make a map. More specifically, a map for Open Fortress. These tutorial videos will help you achieve that goal. Before we start mapping, we need to set up the tools you will need to make any map for Open Fortress. Whether this is the first time you touch the software, or already have experience with it, this video is important for the stepping stone of making maps in Open Fortress, and should be followed closely to make sure you have the least problems in mapping. Additionally, I am assuming that the mod works on your platform, as in you are able to play and there seems to be no problems with it. If there are problems with your mod, please inquire your inquiries in the Discord server under the channel Support Hotline. So, let's get started. Setting up Hammer. Hammer is the software where you can make maps for source games, including Team Fortress 2 and the mod we're doing right now. You will need to download two things. The first thing you need to download is Source Development Kit 2013 Multiplayer Base, found in the Tools section of Steam. This will download the essentials of map making for the mod. The second thing you need to download is Slam and Source Map Tools. This is a community made version of Hammer on Source Development Kit 2013 that is highly recommended as it comes with bug fixes, improvements to stability and performance, and other additional goodies that will make map making a much easier process. You will download the multiplayer version and replace the files in the bin folder of Source Development Kit 2013 multiplayer base. Once you downloaded everything, you are still not done. You will need to configure Hammer to make maps specifically for Open Fortress. Go to settings, and here is where you need to place all the file paths to make maps for Open Fortress. Here are the two images of what your file paths should look like. If you need additional help finding the files, please set the video to a quarter of its speed and there will be a quick time lapse of where you can find the files. If your file paths should be where they are, congratulations! You finished the hardest part of setting up Hammer, and you can technically start mapping now. However, before you do, we need to quickly edit one text file that can get you all the content from Team Fortress 2. Go to your game info file in Open Fortress and open it. Scroll down until you find these HL2 paths. In the description of this video, you will find these commands that will tell Hammer where to go to get the TF2 content from. If you have TF2 in the same hard drive and library as Open Fortress, copy this. If they are in a different hard drive, such as TF2 being in a Steam library of this hard drive, copy this text and change the beginning parts of it to suit your file paths. If you have reached this point and have done exactly everything I instructed, you should be ready for mapping. The next video will be covering on how to make a basic deathmatch map. In the meantime, if you are new to Hammer and mapping in general, I highly recommend you watch 3 Clicks Philip, UEAK Crash, Top Hat Waffle, and plenty of other tutorials on source mapping. These channels are very helpful in letting you familiarize with the program and know how to make maps in the source engine. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.